Right, so in this example, I'm going to show you how you can get some quick insights from a data set in Power BI. So in previous years, we might have spent a few hours taking data such as this and um, drawing insights from it. So if you can have a look here, we've got artist, album, got a date, genre, and sales. So in case you didn't notice, this is basically showing record sales um, by artist, album, date, and genre. And so just as an example, I'll create an example visualization just to show you what, what this looks like. I can pick album. No, I'll pick I'll pick genre actually. Put genre on the axis. Yeah, so there you go. It's just nice straightforward data. Um, and we could continue to do this and build out visualizations. And, you know, because we can spot here, oh that's interesting. You know, the pop genre seems to have the, the most sales out of the, all the different genres. Okay, so that's a type of insight. Okay, but let me let me delete that. Well, no, I'll tell you what, I'll leave that in actually. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to publish it to Power BI because these quick the quick insights it, it really only works on the PowerBI.com service. So there's some machine learning um, available. So can you see there? Get quick insights. And so what basically happens after you uh, log on to PowerBI.com? might take a minute especially for big data sets but basically these um dashboards get created automatically so you can look here at this one and um, it's given us uh, sales by genre and it's given us some commentary here rock accounts for the majority of sales for the beatles yeah so um again you could get that yourself by doing the analysis but uh, let's carry on look at category outliers so basically so the beatles has noticeably more sales for rock so you probably guessed that, I imagine. But we, you know, we can conti continue down and have a look at the different insights. Um, it's ransom correlation. Okay, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just sales versus counts of sales. You'd expect there to be some correlation there. Um, you know, so that's um, not too bad. But um, we've got some more outliers here. Uh, Pock, rock, R and B has noticeably more sales for Michael Jackson. Yeah. So of course, uh, that's the type of music he created. So I'm not surprised by that. I mean, it's quite comprehensive, right? You know, and again, we've not really had to do anything other than provide nice, clean data. Um, and so that's quick insights from Power BI. I recommend you do that um, with your data, especially new data. Um, you know, it's going to save you a little bit of time. I don't think it's going to replace the analysis. I hope you enjoyed that short screencast and you can make use of this service. Until next time.